Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you a few ways to fix 100% CPU usage. There are multiple reasons why you could be suffering from this. Hopefully, your CPU usage problem is a thing from the past after watching this tutorial. These methods work in Windows 10 and Windows 11, but you might need to combine a few of them to get the desired result. In the first method, we activate high performance or best performance mode. I'll show you how to do this in the Windows 10 way. It also works for Windows 11, but there is a better way to do it for Windows 11. Click on the Windows search bar or search icon and type in choose a power plan. Click on it. You want to change your power plan settings from balance to high performance. In most cases, you immediately notice how your screen turns brighter. Ideally, you reboot the PC after changing the power plan. If you want to do it the Windows 11 way, Click on the search icon and type in settings. Continue by clicking on power and battery. Next to power mode you have a drop down menu. Click on it and change it to best performance. This is how you do it for Windows 11. Changing this setting might already make a big difference to bring your CPU usage down. In the next method we disable the high precision event timer. This has a big impact on CPU usage for gaming. To do this, click on the Windows search icon or search bar and type in Device Manager. Click on it. When it opens, click on the drop-down arrow next to System Devices. In here, you should have the High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on it and select Disable Device. You get a warning asking if you are sure that you want to disable it. Click on Yes. After doing this, Check if your CPU usage went down. In the next method, we check the status of startup apps. This is quite easy and it's something that you should do regardless of CPU problems. To do this, right click on the Windows icon or taskbar and select Task Manager. Next, click on the tab Startup. Here you have an overview of all of the applications that start on boot. The main focus should be on applications that have a high impact. If you rarely use one or more of these apps, select them and click on the Disable button. In my case, I'll take Microsoft Edge as an example. I advise you to disable as many applications as you can. You can still start them as normal, but they don't start automatically after booting your PC. Reboot your PC and the changes take place. In the last method, we disable the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This service preemptively transfers files that you might need for future updates or programs. Disabling this won't affect your Windows installation at all, but it might lower your CPU rate. Click on the Windows search icon or search bar and type in services. Click on it. Here you need to search for background intelligent transfer service. Right click on it and select properties. Click on the drop down menu next to startup type. Change it from automatic to manual or disabled. After that, click on the stop button, followed by clicking on OK. Hopefully you have a normal CPU usage after following the steps in the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.